She'd finally managed to work her way to a secluded edge of the platform and climbed up to hide behind a shipping crate someone had left there. From that new vantage point, she spotted her father once more, and she wanted nothing more than to race over to him and reveal that she was there. She knew, though, that Krennic would have shot her on the spot. She had to wait until she had her chance. Then the X-Wings appeared in the sky. Crazy as it was, she decided that was her time. If Krennic managed to survive the attack, he'd have her father executed for sure, just as he'd done with those innocent engineers. The confusion and terror and smoke the attack produced gave her cover, and she meant to use it. She vowed to herself that Krennic would not steal her father away again, as he had years before back on Lamu. She called out to Galen, and their eyes met. Then the torpedo hit the platform. The blast sent Jin flying. Stunned, she glanced up, convinced that the X-Wings had come gunning for her. Then she spotted a flight of TIE fighters racing into the air to meet them. She'd never been so happy to see Imperial pilots doing their job in her life. Anti-aircraft turrets joined in then, blasting away at the rebels in the sky. Normally, Jin would have wanted to take down the stormtroopers manning them as fast as she could, but they were the only thing keeping another torpedo from blasting her and her father to bits. Her ears rang with a high-pitched whine, and for a long while it was all she could do to try to catch her breath. As her lungs struggled with that, she spied a pair of Imperial officers racing out of the smoke. They darted straight over to Krennic and began dragging him toward his shuttle. Overhead, a turret found its target. A wounded X-Wing spun out of control and crashed somewhere in the mountains. A boom marked its passing. Jin saw the distinctive bolt of a light bow shoot out from another spot in the mountains and lance straight through a TIE fighter. The spacecraft spun like a runaway top and came smashing down into the turret. Everything flared white in a massive blast that shook the platform once more. Jin shook her head again and again, but it didn't seem to want to start working. She could barely tell which way was up or down. She spotted Krennic staggering up the ramp into his shuttle. He paused there for a moment, as if he wanted to go back and take on the rebel squadron himself. One of his officers grabbed him again and insisted he get on the ship. Director, we have to evacuate. Krennic glanced back toward Jin's father and saw that he lay there unmoving. Nodding at the officer's suggestion, he turned and hustled onto the shuttle. The ramp closed behind him. Jin wanted to call out to her father again, but she could see he wouldn't answer her. Somehow, she hoped that he was still alive. She struggled to her feet and steadied herself to make her way toward her father. Just as she started moving, though, the wash from Krennic's rising shuttle hit her hard. It nearly swept her from the platform. She managed to stop herself at the last instant, and as the pressure faded, she clawed back toward where Galen lay sprawled across what was left of the platform. He was barely alive and fading fast. She couldn't believe she'd come all this way, fought through so many years on her own, only to find him like this in his dying moments. She cradled him in her arms the best she could, but he showed no recognition. The light in his eyes would soon go out. Papa, she said. It's Jin. Jin? He looked up at her, trying to recognize her. It had been so long. She'd been through so much. She nodded down at him, tears welling in her eyes. A softness washed over his face then, and he opened his mouth to speak. Stardust, he said. It must be destroyed. I know, she said, trying to comfort him. I've seen your message. He tried to say something else, anything else, but he couldn't manage it. Instead, he reached up to brush the hair from her face and caress her cheek. Then his strength left him entirely and he was gone. Jin stared at him, tears streaming down her face.